Hi there, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through incidents within the service portal. We're going to be focusing on the fulfillers view. The first thing we're going to want to do is click on new. This is how you can open up a new incident. Once you open up this incident, there's a few things to take note of. For example, there are a few items here that are marked with a red asterisk. That means this is a required field and you must provide this information before submitting the document. Over here on the right, you can see our urgency and state. There are three options available, high, medium, and low. For this example, I'm going to choose low. Because I'm opening up a new incident, I'm going to choose the state as new as well. The next thing we're going to do is provide a short description of our new incident. You can see as I'm typing, there are several items that are pre-populating below. These are knowledge articles which are relative to the information I've typed in my short description. Focusing down here at the bottom, we can see there's also an area that is open for additional comments. These in particular are customer visible. It is very important to provide as much detail as possible in this area. Another option available for you within this incident field is your attachments. You can add attachments by choosing Choose Attachments. When you click on this icon, it will direct you to your file explorer where you may choose a file to attach. Once you do that, you can see it will populate over here on the left hand side. There are two options for submitting your ticket. You can either save the item or you can submit the item. The difference is that if you choose save, you will remain on this incident page. If you choose submit, you will be redirected to another page. If you choose that you want to remove your attachment, it's just as easy as pressing remove. The next thing we're going to focus on here is the watch list. The watch list is an area where you can add individuals who you would like to stay up to date on the progress of this incident. For this example, I'm going to choose ETS Kiosk. At this point, my incident is complete, so I'm going to navigate back up here to the right-hand corner of the screen and press Submit. 